Hi, and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark. I am your host, and on today's How To, we're going to learn all about the smart condition monitoring system from Rex Norden. Here to help us out is Chantelle Massey. Please welcome her to set. Hey, Chantelle, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. You know, Chantelle, give me a little background on what we're going to be talking about today, because this sounds really exciting. Yeah, sure thing, Tom. Today, we're going to be talking about one of our connected products, the smart condition monitoring system. We are going to explain what it is and why Rexnord offers this product. Okay. Now, before we start, I want to mention to everybody, we're actually not going to be using PPE here today, although, you know, we do have some safety glasses back here if we need it. But you know what? If you're actually working with this in the warehouse, you want to wear the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. All right. You ready to get started? Because I'm going to follow I'm your lead. Ready. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. So at first, you might ask, what is a connected product? I have a question. Yes. What's a connected product? <laughs> Believe it or not, we use them every day. We can turn on lights in our home, check the location of our automobile or loved one, change the temperature in our homes while we're still at work, and more. Connected products are now becoming more and more part of our daily lives. I did not realize it, but as you say it, yes, that's very true. We are so connected. Well, because of this, Tom, Rexnord has made a commitment to become a leader and innovator of industrial connected products. We have launched our smart condition monitoring system for our Falk A+. Y unit and V class gear drives. This system will tell you if your gear drive is running in a normal operating condition or even give you recommendations for what to do if problems are detected. I mean, that's awesome, but what are the important details of that smart conditioning monitoring system that we should all know about? I'm glad you asked. Let's go through some of the primary components of the smart conditioning monitoring system. The first thing we have on the system is our edge device. All right. This is really the smarts behind the operation. This device collects sensor data and it also computes health conditions. What kind of things does the system actually monitor? So some of the things the system monitors is temperature, vibration, oil quality, low oil level, and oil relative humidity. Now, I'm just going to assume that by monitoring this, we're going to cut back on maintenance costs and time, and that's going to save a lot of money, right? It means you don't have to pay for scheduled checks or excessive maintenance because our system alerts you when to take action. I love it. That's really, really helpful. All right, what's next? Being able to detect problems is important, but getting that information to the people who need it is critical. So to help with this, we have a high visibility and on light that gives you a visual indication of the health of your drive. Okay, now are there different colors? And then if so, what does each color indicate? Great question. So the green light will indicate when the drive is in a healthy, normal operating state. Yellow is gonna be a warning alert as indicated here, and it'll give an actionable insight on what to take. It most likely means that it needs maintenance. And then red is another indicator of a severe alert, meaning maintenance or repair is required. I mean, this yes. seems like a great feature for worker safety so they can visually see the health of the gear drive rather than climb. Like, say, maybe something's 30, 40 feet up in the air. They can look at it and go, ah, uh, yeah, we need some scheduled maintenance, right? Exactly. Safety is priority number one. All right, that's a great feature. Now, how do we connect this to your plant control systems? Great question, Tom. Yes, the system can connect to your local PLC. The smart condition monitoring system offers the ability to interface to the customer's production control system. The information can be used to display conditions through their existing monitoring equipment and enable the customer to make real-time decision of how they want to operate or even shut down to prevent major problems for their gear drive and their production line. That is really, I mean, I'm talking insightful. That, that, that's incredible. What's next? Is there anything else? Yeah, so the last component of our system will be a connect portal where a customer can log in and visually see what the state of their assets are at. In this particular case, this customer has three assets. None mm -hmm. of them are in a severe warning state. Uh -oh. As shown here, yeah, this Gearbox One has a warning. And it actually lets the customer know, let's, hey, inspect or review operation elevated oil temperature. Okay. This oh, is a severe alert. That's even worse. It's very obvious. Shut down excessive oil temperature. If the customer decides to, they can drill down into the gearbox and get more detailed information on their asset. This is a great product, Chantel, and I'm sure many industries can benefit from using this, can't they? Absolutely, Tom. We live in a world where connected products and condition-based maintenance are becoming more and more important to increase productivity and uptime. That's awesome. Chantel, thank you very much. Thanks we for having appreciate me, Tom. It. That's Chantel Massey. She is with Rex Nord. Any questions, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch. They'll be able to help you out. As far as PPE, as you could tell, we didn't need it for this, but if you're putting this system in, yeah, you're going to need to choose the right PPE. 
or whatever the job calls for. That's priority number one, safety. Number two, head to mihowto.com and check out more videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching.